Let's see if we can knock this one over, just for the hell of it. <laughs> we made it go sideways. <laughs> I don't know, I just... That just amuses the hell out of me. I, it, I don't know why, it just does. It doesn't change the effect of the... <laughs> It doesn't change the effect of the rocket. It just... <laughs>
Okay, so we need to make another explosive powder. We need a couple sulfur for that. Oh, for goodness sakes. Come on, game. Alright, so now... Uh, just a couple iron. And let's grab the O2 fuse out of here. 500% boost. I rearranged my flower spreaders. I, I put all of my grass spreaders further out. Just kind of in a line all the way back this way. Uh, and then put my flower spreaders a little closer together so hopefully the optimizer can hit all of them. Put that down. Put this in here. Okay, so we want to make sure it's hitting all the flower spreaders. And it looks like it is. And it's even grabbing this one at the moment, but let's put another uh, uh, flower spreader down too. So we need a furt and a mag for that. I have some furt up here that I've been making. And we'll grab this golden flower out of here. Uh, we'll replace it with a Tusca. At some point in the future, when oxygen doesn't matter anymore, in terms of the terraforming index, it'd be kind of cool to plant some other flowers so they're not all just goldens, but you want goldens for now because that's what's really going to boost us up here. Oh, I need two water as well. Let's grab all those water. In fact, here, let's grab all of those and put more of those in there. Keep one in our inventory and drink one. Um, okay. And then we'll put this guy here. Okay, now, so you should be hitting that one instead of the grass spreaders. Okay. Yeah, so we, we just gave our O2 a serious boost. Because uh, this can um, support up to five machines. So I think that's five, right? One, two, three, four. Wait a minute. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it is doing five. Okay. Now let's look at something here. If we took this fuse out for a second, this is generating 772.8 parts per quadrillion, O2. If we put this in, now it's generating 1.42 parts per trillion. So super nice boost. Yeah, we just gave oxygen a serious boost. Love it. Absolutely love it. Phantasmagorical. I suppose we could go throw the heat optimizer down in the heat shack for now and then we'll just uh yeah we're, we're getting close to that um and then we you know once once we get to the tier four heater we just move it over to those guys um what do we need to make another one of those two more exp uh, how are we doing on power by the way I'll, I'll tell you what, let's let's hold off on that. Well, I'm thinking we need to actually make another reactor here pretty soon. I mean, that's a, a, an okay amount of power, but it's not a ton. Eh, what the hell, let's do it. Let's go ahead and, and make the other optimizer. We have the fuse, we might as well use it. And like I said, we can just move the thing later. So we need two of you and, da, 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 and two iron. Oh, went out the wrong door, but that's okay. Do I have any iron in overflow? I don't think I do. Okay. So that's everything for that. Now let's grab the heat rod out of, or the heat fuse rather out of here. And we'll just, uh, actually we need to eat. Glad I looked at that. I uh, planted some beans in here just to kind of replenish our own food supply. 
So we'll let those go for a bit. All right, let's run over to the heat shack and just plop this thing down in there. And then, like I said, when we get to the tier four heater, we're going to tear all of that stuff out of there, all the tier threes, and then make one or 10 tier fours and we'll put the optimizer down next to it. So yeah, we're quite a ways ahead of the game when it comes to heat just because of all of the uranium rockets that I've launched. All right, let's put this, see we got four over there, so yeah, uh, um, doesn't really matter. We put that there, it should, and put this inside. It, okay, so yeah, it's grabbing the four and then that other one over in the corner. Now. Again, just for the hell of it, this is generating 22.8 P Kelvins, parts per Kelvin, I don't know, PKs, whereas this one is 114. So nice little improvement there. So yeah, about 500% improvement. Okay, nice. This is so cool looking over here, man. Look at this, you guys. I love it. Let's stop off and grab a batch of algae while we're over here. It's just gorgeous over here. Okay. And we can uh, keep making fertilizer with the algae and bacteria. We haven't had to make too much uh, bacteria for too many things yet, but. Okay, good. So we got the, the optimizers down. I still think we should probably go get more uranium so that we can um, so that we can make another uh, power power thing I'm just gonna stick those in there for now power generator um, but why don't we instead of doing another heat rocket let's do a pressure rocket So we'll put the Oz in there. We'll put the plastic stuff in here. The cobalt can go in here. And I believe it's three silicon that we need for the pressure rocket. One, two, three. Rocket, the silicon, and most likely two supers for that. Let's put this iridium rod back in here for the month. Uh, for, for the, for the nuts. For the nuts. Work mouth. And then we're going to scooch over to the uranium cave. It's not that far from here. It's over by the Stargate. And just pick all that, too. Because I'd rather use these resources to do a pressure rocket. Which is this guy here. This will also bring us iridium. Uh, which doesn't suck. Right, might as well pick all this stuff up from the storm we just had. And I don't care if the iridium goes down in the canyon. It doesn't matter. We're going to be going down in there anyway. Except for we won't have room for anything. Let's check and see. Do we have bark? We do. Look at that. Okay, we're going to have to probably make our own bark storage because we're starting to collect a nice little bunch of it there. I mean, I could, I guess we could set this up too for the flower, uh, the grass spreaders, but nah, I don't think I'm going to mess with that right at the moment. Okay, so Uranium Cave, I think, is our next goal. Let's put you in there. Uh, where's the mag? Put all that stuff in overflow. Let's grab some water. all in there except for one and actually let's take two with us just to be on the safe side we'll drink one and I should make an extra O2 bottle though what we'll probably end up doing is setting up a shack at the uranium cave because we're gonna put an extractor in there later so we'll pick up the things uh, that we need along the way Let's grab one of you, top off our food. Let's do this. 
So yeah, we're just gonna scooch over to the to the uranium cave, which is by the Stargate, like I said. There is also a a uh, a satellite at that cave that we could potentially loot, but we'll we'll see how much uranium we get first. We got to get the uranium first, and if we have room, then we'll loot that satellite. And it usually has some pretty damn good stuff in it as well. Let's start picking up stuff that we need for the hut. Um, that's enough for the hut. We just need another iron and a silicon for the... the crafting station. And then we'll need some iron for a chest. Okay, that should be everything. We'll just uh, scooch on over this way. Oh, you know what? I'm mistaken. That's the wrong. That's not the same canyon. Okay. Well, um, s let's do this and let's put this guy down and put the door in. Replenish our air. We'll go ahead and loot the satellite because if I don't have enough room, I can just store some of the stuff in the in the hut at the uranium cave. Man, I could have sworn this was in the same thingy, but I guess not. Okay, that's... I was kind of hoping for, like, you know, fuses and stuff, but that'll work, I guess. I mean, it's not bad. It's just not what I wanted. Alright, so I guess the Uranium Canyon is... Where the hell is the Uranium Canyon? It's probably... Yeah, it's gonna be further back this way. Man, if you would have asked me about, hey, is the uranium cave and the satellite in the same canyon, I would have sworn it was, and I would have been dead wrong. Not the first time. Just ask my wife, she'll tell you. This is the uranium canyon. Okay, so... We'll put the extractor probably right there. Well, let's put the hut over here. Hmm. Not a whole lot of room there, is there? We might have to bring them in a little further. Let's mine that. Let's put the hut in this corner and then we'll put the extractor where I'm standing when the time comes. put everything in here except for the uranium and then we'll grab whatever we can once we loot everything in here I think there's a chest inside of this cave too if I recall correctly so we might as well hit that while we're in here it's a nice little collection of uranium in here that's for sure and then it will produce it for us with the extractor once the time comes I had mentioned in my Season 1 playthrough that the first time I came into this cave, I was expecting to take radiation damage because if you guys have ever played Satisfactory, that game also has caves with uranium in it, but if you go into those caves, you do take radiation damage. Um, 
I think there's some kind of mechanism in the game later on that you can make like a protective suit or something. I can't remember the deets on that to, you know, uh, safeguard against it. But all right, we still have quite a bit of room. Let's hit this crate here. Uh, oh, nice. OK, we'll take the rocket engine for sure and we'll deconstruct that. Okay, I would like to, let's leave anything that's basic stuff here. I would like to bring back the super and probably the iridium. We could, we could go ahead and drink a water. And I guess let's bring back the eggplant seed. I mean, I'll eventually get the rest of this stuff later too. At least that's the plan. Um, we're not going to have any room for whatever's in that crate, so we might as well leave it alone for now. I, I think I may have mentioned this to you guys, but I don't think I showed it to you. Or maybe I did. I don't remember. But in case you don't know, this was a, there's a little secret passage right here that takes you out into the spires. Or no, actually the aluminum biome. Well, yeah, I guess it is the spires. But yeah, so kind of cool. Just FYI. Base looks kind of cool from down below. I like it. It's only going to get bigger. Okay, we are back. Let's put the iridium in here. Um, we'll put the rocket in there. Um, Bert can go in here. Every time I come down that frickin' ladder, I get disoriented. What are we doing? Uh, we're putting the plant seed in here. Or food seed, rather. Let's grab the other loose uranium that we have. Mm, do we have enough to make three rods? One, two... Shit. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, I guess we could... Let's see, what, what do we got? Five, six. We need three more. I guess we could launch a, another uranium rocket. In the long run, it's not, not going to hurt us. Well, it's not going to hurt us in the short run either, unless, you know, they fall on our head or something. Uh, okay, so we need uh, three cobalt. But that's pretty much now from moving forward, aside from whatever we might, you know, whoop, where am I going? Uh, you know, what we might loot from crates. There's no more uranium left to us besides rockets and, you know, once we can get extractors down. But you can't put a tier 1 extractor down for uranium. It's not. It has to be at least a tier 2. Okay, so we want you. And here you go. Let's see if we can knock this one over just for the hell of it. We made it go sideways. <laughs> I don't know. I just that just amuses the hell out of me. I it, I don't know why it just does. It doesn't change the effect of the. <laughs> it doesn't change the effect of the rocket. It just. <laughs> it should eventually just blink out. I think. What's it? Gonna, what's it gonna do? Okay, there it goes. It blinked out. <laughs> I know I'm easily amused, okay? Sue me. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, anyway. There was, um... God, I wish they wouldn't land up there, though. That's the problem. Maybe we should make a... a stair system up to that plateau, because, I mean, every single time those rockets are hitting up there. Let's start picking up some of the loose uranium. Yikes. Uh, I'm sorry, not uranium, iridium. And we also got you. You know what we need to do here is we need to set up a, a storage. Um, oh, yeah, let's we might as well do a shack so that way we have an O2 spot. 
Do I have? Yeah. Okay. Let's put one of these in here. I have enough to make a uh, station. I need one more iron. I just like to have station, you know, uh, crafting stations in here. So that we can, you know, make an O2 if we need to or something like that. Uh, if we can just find one more iron, we can make that. I'm sure we can pick one up out here somewhere. Like right here. There we go. Okay, so, yeah, there uh, there was a couple more of the hit down here for the iridium. So let's get that cleaned up, and then we'll have to go after the uranium, too. And we should look and see if there's some... Maybe there is a, actually a way... Oh, that's going to be fun to get. Damn it, Jim. Um, where did the rest of you go? Oh, it's probably right up on that shelf there. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe I really just ought to move our rocket launcher out onto the planes. I I like where it is for for aesthetic reasons. I think it looks cool out on that plateau, but you know, it's causing us to lose resources and that is no bueno. So looking around for any glowing green or red thingies. We do have O2, right? Yes, we do. We're following the rules. The rules are there to keep us alive. There's some red glowing up there on that cliff. Nighttime is a good time to, to look for this stuff because it's very easy to spot. It's not difficult to spot during the day either, but... All the more in the nighttime. Okay, while we're up high, do we see any more glowing red or green down in the canyon? Don't think so. We brought back a big old supply of iridium. Let's put that in there. Um, actually, no. Let's turn this iridium into rods. There's no reason not to, because we can always break it back down later if we need it loose. Plus, we still have some loose left over. Anyway, there we go. That's the most efficient way to handle that. It is indeed. Let's take a drink of water. In fact, let's harvest all the water. That way we can just keep building up the supply because this is one resource that you're going to use pretty much throughout the entire game on all kinds of different things. <clears throat> all right, let's take a look at our thingamadoodle. Oh, look at that. We hit the moss stage. Fact, we <laughs> damn it, I missed it. We've been in the moss stage for 15, uh, up to 15% uh, to flora now. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, how close are we here? 60. Oh, we're just about there. Okay, we're going to get the tier four heater in this episode. It's going to happen, um, which is amazing. And how close are we to this? Seven, eh, we're still a ways off from the nu uh, nuclear fusion generator. Uh, once we get that, we don't need to rely on uranium, but we will need to rely upon pulsar quartz. Pulsar quartz is, you can get a pretty decent amount of it just by picking it in the wild early on. And the fusion generators just, gen you know, they create so much more power. It's just ridiculous. Uh, how close are we to this? A hundred, eh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, oh, we got the biomass green. Okay, we should build that. And let's see. Uh, we are very close to the tier two flower spreader, which is going to give us an exponential boost for oxygen and biomass. And beehives are quite a ways off yet. Okay. Cool. We're making good progress, ladies and gentlemen. We are making good progress. Let's go ahead and get ourselves uh, some food here. I'm going to eat one and put the others in there. We'll pick our bark. Keep going on that stuff. Well, all right, what should we do? 
I, I, we need, I, oh yeah, we need to make power. We still got to focus on that. So if we can find three more loose uranium, we can make the third rod. Because we're going to need to boost up the power to make our first tier four heater. We were going to see if we could, if there was a way we could get up there. Let's hop over there and see. It's possible that we could get up there just, you know, naturally. But if not, maybe what we can do is build like a little stair system or something up to that plateau. There we go. We got it. Nice. Nice indeed. But let's, uh, let's wait because, again, we've got to get the... We're going to need more power first. Because that tier 4 heater is going to use a lot of power. Okay, we can scooch up to this plateau. One, two... Three, four, five. I think five is what you get for uranium. Is that right? I think you get six iridium, but five uranium. Don't see anything more green and glowing. All right, to get up to this plateau, is there... Hmm. Sometimes you can, you know, just kind of shimmy up there with a jetpack. Let's see if we can make something like that happen. Come on, buddy. Hmm. No, it doesn't uh doesn't want to let me up there. Hmm. What if we kind of got a little running start and use this as a ramp to boost up? Uh, oh, 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 oh. Are we doing it? Are we doing it? <laughs> We're so damn close. Come on, man. That was close, but yeah, it just does not want to go any further than this. I wonder if there's a like a ceiling or something up there. I don't know. All right, well, that's apparently not going to work. Can we scooch up here? No, nope, doesn't want us to do that either. Okay. Ah, kick me off. There was, um, wasn't there one that landed up here, though? On this shelf. Yeah. Right in here. I'm not... Oh, for Pete's sake. Really, game? You're killing me, man. <laughs> There's no way we're going to be able to get to that. Damn it, Jim. Okay, yeah, we, we need to re we need to remove the oh, hold on. No, it's not gonna let me get past that point. I don't think. We're so close. Well, that bites. All right, we need to remove the rocket launcher from the canyon. Um, I, I'm, I, I've lost so much ore to this cliff and to the plateau up there that we can't get up. I mean, yeah, I could go to the trouble to try and build a stairway up there, but it'd be easier just to move the damn thingy, right? And in fact, it looks like we have both iridium and uranium that landed up on the shelf itself. Any chance we can get to this? So close. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so damn close. Uh, all right, you know what? I'm not going to fight it. Too much fucking around. I'm not going to do it.
how much does a, a rocket launch platform cost? We could just leave the one that's there for aesthetic purposes and make a new functional one. I want to get see if I can get back to the base before we have to consume another O2. And then we'll take a look, see. To make another one of those, it's going to cost us... Here. I mean, that's not that expensive. Or the other thing we do is we just pick it up and this entire plateau over here can be just dedicated to power plants. Yeah, that sucks that we can't get to that stuff. Maybe that's what we'll do. There's not really any reason in this game to have two rocket launch platforms. Um, the, the money rockets there's definitely reason to have mul multiples of those, but not not the normal rocket launch platform. And you certainly can. There's no wrong, nothing wrong with that, but it's just not needed or necessary. Just wondering if we could maybe scooch down and grab those. Um. All right. Yep. Yeah, let's pick this thing up. And the good news there is it gives us a lot of room to expand our power generators later on. I love it that everything's so green around here now. Okay, let's make one more uranium rod so we can get another generator down. I believe we're going to need water uh, for that. And s is it supers? It's one super and an explosive powder. that back in there. We'll put these in here. Uh, titanium, that's all in an overflow. Put these supers in here, except for we need the one. Okay, let's go make ourselves an explosive powder. Need, uh, no, we only need one iridium. Couple of sulfur. Have water, right? Yeah, I got a bunch of water. Oh. Uh damn it. <laughs> and I actually now that I think about it, I shouldn't have put that stuff away either because we just need to rebuild the rocket platform anyway. Oh, what was I thinking? <clears throat> I, well, I was thinking about getting our first tier four heater down, actually. But, uh, okay, so three supers, three titanium, three iron. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Let's see if we can plop this back down more or less where it was and grab these three that are up in the sky here. All right, so this guy was right about there maybe. Is this enough to grab these? Uh, it's just, it's just right there. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. <laughs> okay, we did it. We got the job done. Nice. 
Okay, let's move this out onto the planes. Then we're going to make a tier four heater. Our first and put the optimizer on that. And then we're going to need to wrap things up for this episode. Might, the easiest thing to do might be to put this way down in the desert. Then it's just in a wide open spot. And uh, there's fewer. Oh, there we go. There's uranium out there, too. There's fewer places for the rockets to uh, land. Well, they could still land on top of the labyrinth, I suppose. If they happen to land on top of the ship, that's not a big deal because we can easily get up there. But overall, we should be able to retrieve uh, the ore better out here. How about if we put it right on top of this hill? Does that look alright? Yeah, except for, you know what, I want to turn it the other way. This will usually be coming at it from this direction. How's that? That should work. Okay. There's still a risk that some of them might land on the top of the labyrinth, but you know, if, if it does, it does. What can you do? Can we make it to the shed before we run out of O2? It's going to be close. We got it. We got this, man. We got this. We're going to need some food here. Okay, let's go grab that uranium. Then we're going to take down our tier 3 heaters and set up our tier 4. Hey, look at that. We're starting to see tufts of grass. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. You know, I should probably take that shed and move it to the rocket launcher. Yeah, we'll worry about that later. There's still a lot of loot we have to pull out of that ship, though, so maybe we make a, a, a new shed and just keep it at the rocket launcher. All right, there's our five pieces. It's a beautiful thing. Go back to the base, put this stuff away, get something to eat, and then we'll go pull down our Tier 3 heaters. To make the tier 4 heater, we need all of that stuff. Why don't we make that first, so that way the heat continues, even when we pull down the little ones. Okay, so we got that. Two rods, iridium, and an explosive powder. Uh, we'll need another iridium. We have to go get a load of, load of sulfur here pretty soon. We have everything, right? Yes, we do. Um, how much... How's our, our power? We should have lots of power now. Yeah, 401. This is going to take... 61. Okay, we're good. All right, so... Uh, let's have our heater farm. This is our pressure farm. This is our biomass oxygen area. So maybe what we'll do is we'll put the heaters up on this higher, um, oh look, there's even more goodies on this higher flat area here. It's got a nice little flat spot right here. I love it. Are those, uh, I think those are probably left over from a meteor, I don't know. But let's start with our first tier four heater. We'll put it right Here is probably pretty good. All right. Nice. So this guy does 
430 PKs, parts per Kelvin, something, 430. Whereas we have the tier threes only do 20, uh, no, 22, yeah. So that means it would take almost 20 of the tier threes to match the output of one tier four. It's crazy. And by taking down the tier threes, we're going to save, save on power because the a number of tier threes that are currently running probably exceed the power that that one is using. And we'll get a bunch of resources back to boot. It's a win-win situation. Let's drink a water. And we'll head over and take these other ones down and more importantly, get our uh, machine optimizer and throw that thing over with the new heater. Our terraformation index is climbing pretty fast. Look at that. 339 million TI right now. Just topped 340. We're well on our way. Okay. Let's grab this. And then... If we... Uh, what are these guys using? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, see, they're using 21 energy. So th only three of these uses about the same amount of energy as, or even more than one of those. So yeah, we're going to really save on power by taking all of these down. Uh, oh, it thinks I want to do the living compartment. What are we getting back from that? Iridium rods, nice. You got to get right up in its business here. Otherwise... Okay, I'll come back and pick all this stuff up. It's not going anywhere. I have to remember to grab all that ore down there as well. Okay, so right now this guy is doing 430.4. And now it's doing... Uh, 2.15 NK. So, yeah. A lot. What is the... Okay, hold on. What is the... Oh, that's PK. Okay. So that's PK, and then the next level is N. So, yeah. Big boost. Huge boost. 500% boost. <laughs> this guy generates pressure, too, actually. So, yeah, that doesn't suck. A little extra pressure on the side. Uh, we need to give our pressure some love, though. Um, and did we... We learned the... Did we get to the tier... Two... You know, we haven't hit the tier two flower spreader yet. When that happens, we're going to replace all the tier ones with tier twos. Oh, I need a... Well, here... I'm going to drop this stuff off and then I got to go back and pick up that ore and all the rest of the stuff I left in the shed. Let's take a quick look see here before I let you guys go. We're at 30% of the way to flora. It's a beautiful thing. We still have lots of power left. And um, the flower spreader is 500. Oh, yeah, we're, we're just about there. I mean, that's going to happen in the next minute or so. So here's what I'm going to do then, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to replace the tier one flower spreaders with these tier twos um once that you know pops and we also should we should put some more pressure um uh, drills down too but we'll do that in the next episode in fact we'll do all whoop, we'll do all that yeah let's save why not we'll do all that in the next episode so i'm gonna let you go here thanks everybody for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.